Hey guys, how's it going? Tonight I just wanted to show y'all the Cloak Tuck 3.5 by Alien Gear. This is the miniature version. And this is the one I got. It is for the Taurus G2C. Now for, the, for those of you that don't really, you know, you're beginning at this, you're not really sure what holster you want, the clip, the belt clips on this one, it comes with two of them on each side. It's a Kydex finish. Your retention rests in these four screws here. And I mean, it's a really good holster for concealed carry. It's got the finished edges, so you ain't gotta worry about the seams peeling themselves apart. Like that's stitched on, sewn on. It, it's got three different size spacers on it so you can help decide how much retention is how much room your gun has but as you can see it's specifically made to fit the PT 111 Millennium G2 and the G2C but you can get them for a bunch of different brands different kinds of guns and one of the best things I like about it is instead of it being just one of those things that you really have to break in real hard, it breaks in real easy. It's really flimsy, guys. See, I mean, I'm barely putting any pressure. It'll fit to however your body is, whether you be small and thin like me, a little bit on the heavier set. It, come on, stand, stay standing. It don't matter. It'll, it'll come to bend with your posture now it does have three holes on each side so you can adjust the cant on it so that way you can determine like if you lower this one raise this one it'll bring it into more of a forward and the way i got it it ain't gonna be a hundred percent flat like that right there mine's gonna the way i got it it's gonna set just a little bit up just enough to where it hugs my body enough to where it conceals it good and I don't have to worry about it printing. And it does a really good job. But one of the thing, the thing like in the back side of it, y'all, it is vented, met, like a vented padding. It's not leather, but it is really comfortable. It doesn't hold, like, it draws a sweat from your body and it doesn't even, like, I've seen some videos on YouTube, people doing reviews and their opinions on them where they're saying that these holsters will hold the sweat in and it'll create a bad odor. This one does not. It's really comfortable at the, against the skin. Sorry, y'all. I ain't been able to talk right all night. I don't know why, but what can you do, right? But it doesn't stick to your skin. It's really comfortable. It breathes really well. I've worn it out in the heat, in the cold. Don't matter. It is really comfortable. It holds my gun nice and still. And I know a lot of people's concerns are these belt clips. And they want some that are really tight. But the way these are designed... Like, there's a lot of pressure in them. Like, in order to take this off my belt and be able to put it back in my nightstand every night, I legit have to fight with this thing because it, they are just so hard to expand. And it's black and green. Like I said, it comes with three different kinds of spacers. I got the long, the widest ones on it right now. One of the thing, but what I really like most is that majority of your holsters that you get, they're going, I've seen some, just the regular kind that's got the one clip on it, 25, 30, sometimes even up to 40 something dollars. But the amazing thing about Alien Gear is this right here, the price. Let me fo try to focus in a little bit. Right, hold on, I got you. Watch this. All right. 
the subtotal, $49.88. All I did was pay $7.87 for shipping and handling. So for this holster, under $60. And the way I had to order it, you know, I ordered for the PT Millennium, 111 Millennium G2, but here in parentheses, as you can see, it fits the G2C, which is what I have. And of course, cloak took 3.5 IWB inside the waistband. And I've heard some people when they order holsters that they come in a couple of weeks or like a month or so. This thing, let me see if I can find it again. It sh it doesn't say it on here. I got rid of the upper half because my addre address was on it and I didn't feel like, I didn't want to put my home address out for the whole world to see because you never know who's going to end up stealing identity or trying to order something, you know, create identity theft or something like that, you know, just, I value my privacy when it comes to that, so I took the top part off, but it shipped in eight days. From the moment I ordered it, eight days later, I got it, so I was... I was very satisfied with that and for the price you can't beat it but like alien gear has a holster called the shapeshift 4.0 i think it's like a hundred hundred and six dollars something like that but at the same time that one holster converts into like five different ones you've got the inside four o'clock carry that's you know similar to this one you have the outside the waistband and it even has appendix carry there's a bunch of different ways that this holster will work and you're gonna be spending 20 up to like nearly $60 like I did for this one and for each one but you get all of those for a hundred so in my book that's not really about it a bad price I think it's pretty on point if not getting a slightly better deal I'd have to do the math but going back to this alien gear 3.5 mini like I said it's vented here it it bends easy you can adjust the cant you can adjust the retention by adjusting the screws and replacing your spacers and when you order it like it comes with a little keychain. It's got business card in the package. And I really like this, but I'm just a fan of Alien stuff. But you can see the Alien Gear logo there. And this is the package that it comes in. Premium Comfort, Superior Concealment. And when they say Superior Concealment, they're not lying. So the stuff that I got with it you know of course the holster come in all right you got your you got your limited warranty disclaimer of liability and you got your little instruction booklet tells you how to do everything See, there's the three spaces it comes with. It came with that on it, but I put these on because just it was easier to it was easier for me to draw my weapon out of it because those spaces that come on it. Well, sorry y'all, but here's the business card. Got Facebook, all that on the back. The reason I swapped them out is because when I'd go to put it in, it was kind of tough and it was scrubbing against the slide and it caused a little bit of my finishing, my finish to come off the slide, which I mean, it still shoots fine. Don't get me wrong. It just gave it a little bit of cosmetic damage, but I'm, a, I'm okay with that. As far as, I'm, as far as that goes, I'm function over fashion, so... Anyway, see here's the spacers, come with the screws, it's got the little rings in it, 
and it even it come with its own little allen wrench that i don't know if y'all can see it right there but it come with its own little allen wrench so it's pretty nifty however how t however tight you want it but the reason i put the wider ones on is like i was saying it's easier to draw the weapon out because when i first had this thing on and with the spacers that were originally on it i would grab my weapon and when i go to pull it out like it wouldn't go nowhere like this i actually had to literally push down and pull and when i did get it out the whole thing jerked and it just jerked the whole side of my pants up it was real it was ridiculously tight and i didn't like that at all because if i'm ever in a situation i want to have to draw i want to be able to get it out with ease and not have to worry worry about sitting there fighting with it and almost pulling this off my belt loops but off my belt but these clips right here do a really good job of holding it down keeping it in place but then again every holster moves a little bit as you move now i keep this on my four o'clock three thirty four o'clock somewhere in there and as you can tell it's already gotten to the point to where it's shaped to my body and you know it it'll fold all the way shut so there's really no problems there it's not quite like a a sidecar or it's got the little some of those that have the dots going up the stitching going up the middle so the thing in half folds but for what it is and the price for it it's made really well it's very comfortable like this is padded and the outside of it it's almost like a lizard skin finish here let me swap to my back camera so y'all can get a more clear view but see like it's almost a lizard skin finish it feels like leather it's got good grip to it so it holds steady to your pants shorts whatever and of course the front plate kydex and it all in all it's a really good holster i love everything about it especially the price when you're on a budget like i am because i mean uh under sixty dollars for the holster and shipping two hundred dollar pistol which i mean granted it sounds like you know like just about like i bought a high point people right i wouldn't trust my life with a damned high point i wouldn't either i don't like them that was the very first pistol i ever owned i got rid of it within a month i couldn't hit the broadside of a barn with it it's just it felt like i was lugging around a brick in my pocket i mean it just no nah. the g2c way better i'm way more accurate with it uh, 12 rounds i i love the fact that i have 12 rounds and it's just all around this thing if you're wearing it like you can tell it's there but in the 3 30 4 o'clock position if i can sit in my car perfect now if i'm taking a long drive i might have the gun in my i might have my weapon in the armrest of my vehicle but you know if i'm not going very far i'll actually have it in my holster um see what else about this thing i can tell y'all i mean it's just if you're really wanting a good starter holster for the G2C or your PT Millennium G2 or even the G2S, this would be a really good a really good holster to have. You ain't got to worry about spending so much on it, and it's just all around. It's amazing. I love it, and I would show y'all the video of how the retention does on it, but considering that i could get fired for having my weapon here in in the shop in the building i'm gonna save that for another video for another day or a different video another day there we go <laughs> but all in all i hope y'all enjoyed the review i'll have more videos up and coming soon hit the like and subscribe button stay tuned Y'all have a wonderful weekend and keep on keeping on.